Listening to Tim Walls is inspiring, and he really likes to tackle the issues head on. Head on, applied directly to the forehead. He's as good of a speaker as Vivek Ramaswamy. He's on top of it, but for liberal causes instead of conservative ones. I'm just incredibly impressed. I never would have imagined there was someone that good on our side. Just knowing that he would be the VP is enough for me to hold my nose to vote for Kamala. That whole Kamala thing, too. You're supposed to say Kamala. Well, it's like expecting someone in the United States to say dance instead of dance. You know, we see, we see those letters in that, in that order. It's, it's an ah sound. It's not an ah. So, I don't know. It's just like, no, no, you're supposed to say dance. Dance. But honestly, I have no idea how Kamala was able to achieve the things that she achieved while having this demeanor and attitude that makes her just look so stupid. She comes off as a complete dunce. She's like a deer in the headlights. She's just not a good speaker. Audio-wise, she's more grating to listen to than RFK Jr. Yet when you really listen to what she's saying, she's like repeating herself all the time. She is constantly saying redundant things. You know, she talks in circles. When she's not directly reading a teleprompter, she's always trying to find something smart-sounding to say, which ends up making her look even more stupid. A lot of times she comes off as having the mentality of an eighth grader. I mean, perhaps she really is smart and she just plays stupid. Like how beautiful, blonde, ditzy women are sometimes actually very smart. They just use their ditzy act to an advantage. You know, to further themselves. One of Kamala's most horrible ideas is regulating the speech on social media to include things that aren't already illegal to say, like potential misinformation, conspiracy theories, and hateful speech towards marginalized groups. Freedom of speech is supposed to include speech you don't like. This would be a violation of the First Amendment, and I think it would be slammed down in the Supreme Court. I'm willing to bet that she won't be successful. I'm willing to trust the system. The other would be the massive expansion of DEI programs, and essentially abandoning the idea of a meritocracy. Now, I understand there are some people who think that, well, a meritocracy isn't what we have already. It's like, yeah, but we, we've been striving for it, at least. And you're like, well, that's, that's useless. I'm like, it's, it's, pre it's been pretty useful and has worked really well for a long time. It, it, maybe it's not perfect, but... So at that point, is someone's only worth their uh, sexual orientation, their gender, or their race? I don't know. Now, you know, perhaps if this is just talking about government jobs, then this wouldn't really be that much of a problem. But if it's expanded to include other types of businesses, and it's enforced, that would definitely be a problem. She talks of having everyone arrive at the same place, regardless of how they got there. That's not capitalism. It's also something I don't think she can enforce, not without it going to the Supreme Court and probably failing. Again, I'm willing to trust the system. I dislike that, to my knowledge, neither of them have any sort of plans on how to, how to like, pressure big cities into actually tackling their crime issues. You know, actually uh, making cities punish the criminals. And there are also no plans, to my knowledge, uh, to help the homeless in ways that they can be more self-sufficient and independent and help them get off hard drugs. Again, to my knowledge, you know, may maybe they have talked about some of these things. Maybe they do have a plan. I haven't seen it, but... But again, because Walls is so spectacular, I'm willing to hold my nose and vote for Kamala.